78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Y'all smash the like button, hit the subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. And I ain't just saying that just to be saying it. Could you smash the like button, y'all? Could you share the video for real, for real? Thank you. Now, look, let me say something about Shakur Stevenson. I saw Shakur Stevenson and uh, Keyshawn Davis on a live stream with Ryan Garcia doing their best to uh, ease over the racial tension with Ryan Garcia, uh, low-key help him get back into everybody's good graces, excuse his bad behavior. This is why I don't take you do serious, bro. And I, I've lost my passion for the sport of boxing. Uh, it's, it, bro, it's only a couple of real ones left, bro. It is. You dudes, I can't respect you dudes, bro. How do Ryan Garcia come out here on a whole racial tirade that he's been doing for a while now, but the last one he did was just so much that y'all had to acknowledge it. Okay? He disrespect George Floyd, the death of George Floyd, say he don't mess with blacks. He, he called, using the N-word, crazy. Right? Then, the man is out here uh, 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 abusing women, going up, destroying hotel properties. He taking performance enhancement drugs against young Devin Haney, trying to take him off the map. Right? Doing whatever he want to do. I'm forgetting something. There's some other stuff he didn't did. Ryan Garcia. And even with that being said, people like, oh, Islamophobia. All the stuff he said about Islam. And he been hating on Islam for a while. Right? People, for whatever reason, these creepy dudes, these, 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 uh, Man, I don't even know. I don't even know why I can legally call these dudes, bro. I am so disgusted with Shakur Stevenson and, and uh, especially Keyshawn Davis. Bro. These dudes, you, you, you guys are the future of black boxing. If you can't stand on business and g-check somebody for disrespecting your race, then, then what, what, what are we? What are the black boxing fans supposed to look forward to? Black boxing fans are on here on the internet every day. Getting, getting persecuted, getting called all kind of racist names. Y'all do, you, 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 you're immune to that because you're just a fighter. Yet we, your fans are out here having to fight these fights only for you to come out and laugh and giggle with Ryan. <laughs> hey, hey, you cool too, Ryan. Hey, Ryan, you cool, man. Hey, hey, this man, he wild. Hey, you're Ryan. Hey, he drinking right now. But listen, the man, ain't he supposed to be in rehab? If Ryan was truly sorry, the way he said he was sorry, why is he not in rehab? Why is he still drinking and doing drugs? He's he too, clearly tooting cocaine all in the video. <laughs> playing with his nose. Every five seconds he playing with his nose. Y'all got an excuse for that. No, he's not. There's no proof, man. He's not messing with the yayo. There's no proof for that. He get he, he tests positive. Two different uh one section of body. The 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 excuse me, the New York State Athletic Commission catch him with osterine in the system, right? The violet catching with Osterine. He, he he tell you, oh, 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 he I didn't do it. They set me up. Here come Keyshawn Davis. I believe that though. Hey, I believe that. They set him up, bro. I believe that. Bro, I got no respect for these monkeys no more. None. All these primate, bro, y'all can miss me with supporting any of these dudes, bro. I rock with who I rock with. But I'm so embarrassed at this moment because I really did want to support all these brothers, man, but I can't, bro. They just not like me, bro. They not. And, and I'm not trying to play off a of Kendrick Lamar song. I'm, I'm, I'm real, bro. They, they not like us, bro, for real. These are some different type of dudes, bro. These dudes are excusing somebody disrespecting your entire race. Oh, and you calling it trolling. Oh, oh man, Ryan, man, hey, they, 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 Ryan just trolling him, man. What? So I can talk about your daughter? I can come out. I can. I can talk about jizzing in your daughter's face, and, and, and oh man, I do this to your daughter. I have her doing this and that, and, and it. Oh man, my bad. I'm just trolling, bro. And you ain't gonna want to take me off the map, cause bro, you weak. If that's what you your position is, if I can disrespect your daughter, I can disrespect your wife. I can disrespect your sister, your mother. I can, I can talk, speak ill about your father. 
And, and you willing to excuse that and just say, oh, hey, he said he was trolling, man. He just joking. These are just jokes. This is what we doing now? In 2024, bro, this is the weakest era of men. Excuse me, scratch that. This is the weakest era of black men I've ever seen in the history of the world, ever. I'm talking about even way back in slavery. This is the weakest era of black men ever, period, bro. Period. These dudes, these don't some, some different type of time, bro. And the only thing that gives me hope and, and keeps me from just walking away from YouTube and just going about my life and doing whatever I'm doing in, this, in these streets and we're being selfish. And we're, the only thing that keeps me focused is I know it ain't everybody. It's a lot of y'all brothers and sisters out there that still stand on business. They still understand what this fight is about. They still care. You still care. You still have enough pride to not let somebody just completely disrespect your race, disrespect your manhood, disrespect your people. But nowadays, these new people, new generation, they, they care so much about clout and popularity. If you're popular, you can basically do whatever you want. Oh man, Ryan got this many Instagram followers. Elon Musk got this many followers. This person got this many followers. Oh, he's important. So now people's value is based around some artificial, could be artificial number that's, that's on the, and I, I noticed that on YouTube. Any type of artificial number people put on your social media. Bro, you can literally buy YouTube subscribers. Literally. People are like, oh, 78, why you ain't got 100,000 subs yet? Because YouTube hating on me. Bro, if I was a, one of these other marks that y'all love so much, bro, I'd have been bought me some subs. I'd have been bought, like, you know, 20, 30,000 subscribers. Who would know? I can get away with it. I got enough video views to get away with cheating. I don't do it because I'm a man, homie. I got to look at myself in the mirror and know, hey, I'm, I'm still, I did it the right way. Right? But I understand why those other guys do this. Buy subscribers on YouTube. Buy followers on Twitter and on Instagram. I know why they do it. They do it because of you, the, the weirdos in the chat. You come around and you validate people based off of how many other people are following them. How, how much are they popping? So it don't matter how good my message is. If, let's say, how many, you know how many times I walk, ran across a YouTube channel? I see a video and I might run across it. It might have 200 views. And I, I listen to it. And dude's spitting, spitting hot fire like Dylan said. Spitting hot fire. But it only got 200 views. Another dude might have 200,000 subscribers. His, his video trash, as far as his opinion and my concern. His opinion is horrible. But the guy with 200,000 subs gets treated with more respect than the guy with 200 subs. It's, oh man, oh this guy only got 200 subs. Oh, he ain't nobody. People, this is what you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give y'all some free game. So this is how it works nowadays. And this is why people cheat. This is why people buy fake subs and the fake imagery. Because this is why people wear fake Rolexes and stuff like this, man. This is why. This is why people wear fake Jordans. Because as long as you look like, if you, as long as you look the part, people are gonna suck you off, bro. Dudes are gonna suck you off if you look the part. It don't matter if it's real or not, bro. Not no more. Bro, I, bro, I told this story before. I got so many Jordans in my basement. My son be coming over stealing my Jordans because he, oh, Pop, you don't wear them. But I keep them dead stock in case I do want to wear them. When I feel like wearing them, I got all the OVOs. I got uh, all the uh, 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 black, the, the uh, black cat Jordans. I got, I got all that stuff, right? Right? Stuff that I want. If I like it, I buy it. And I just keep it until I feel like wearing it. But I, I decided to wear my black cats one day, right? My black cat fours. Now, y'all know these shoes are like 900 to 1100, depending on what site you go to, right? I wear my black cat fours. I'm thinking I'm killing it, right? Ain't nobody seen this, like, you know, you know ain't nobody seen these shoes in a minute. 
you know, and I got it from a player price here, Foot Locker for 220 some dollars when they first came out, and now they worth like 900, 1100, whatever. So I'm walking around with these black hat foes, and all of a sudden I start seeing people in the mall with black hat foes. I'm like, wait a minute, that dude got some black hat foes on? Then I see somebody else on the other side of the mall in the food court with black hat foes on. I said, well, hold up, man. So I, I you know, I, I'm petty. I went up to do it. I said, hey, bro, where you get them foes from, man, them black hats, man? I said, man, I thought I was doing something slick. My right, boy, wearing these. Ain't nobody had these in years, man. So, man, everybody decided to wear them on the same day? He said, oh, man, no, nah, OG, uh, 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 my man, my man on Capitol, he sell them, bro, my man on Capitol. I said, my, your man on Capitol? I said, what you pay for him? Oh, I paid uh, 100 I said, whoa, 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 a hundred dollars. I said, what, these are replicas or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yours ain't replica? No, mine's is real, bro. What the, what are we doing out here in these streets? What is, what is, bro, bro, I was so mad, bro. I was so upset. And I know it's petty. It's just shoes, man. But I was so mad that the dude, so you mean to tell me, I'm walking around here thinking I'm killing it. The whole time people looking at me, oh, he got them off capital for a hundred dollars. No, bro. These are the real ones. Man, bro, I can't do it with you dudes. I can't. I can't do it with y'all. It is so ridiculous now that everything's so fake now. Subscribers is fake. Ryan Garcia got all these fake followers. Okay, fine. Some of them are real. He, he is popular. But he sold you the perception that he's popular. He got a bunch of fake subs. Golden Boy bought this boy a bunch of fake subs. Uh, fake, excuse me, fake followers on Instagram. You know how they fake followers? This is how you know. It don't translate into dollars. The only time he made real money is with uh, Tank Davis. Ryan Garcia supposed to be this big star. I've, I've been the only, well, I ain't gonna say I've been the only one. The LDBC has been the only ones telling y'all from day one, Ryan Garcia is not a pay-per-view star. It's Cap. Golden Boy is selling y'all a dream. They got the zone. Eddie Hearn and them selling y'all a dream by Ryan. Even Floyd and them and, and PBC is in on this scam that Ryan is some big star, but the only fight he ever sold was with Tank. Before that, he got no pay-per-view sales before Tank. After Tank, the only time he sold was with Devin Haney. So where is this record, this long record of, of uh, Ryan being a star? The man don't even sell out arenas. He don't have no record gate numbers. Where is this stuff? It's cap. It's all lies, bro. It's an illusion. So anyway, that's that's how this thing is going, unfortunately, in society today. It's all fake, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to adjust and get used to this and, and make my adjustments as a man. And, you know, but, bro, it's very hard to get used to the cowardness of these dudes like Shakur Stevenson, Tank Davis, Keyshawn Davis. All these dudes sitting around kissing Ryan Rectum. Like, bro, you wonder why we bottom feeder catfish people? Because you're y'all, bro. Y'all got no pride, bro. You dudes are the trendsetters. And you acting, you sweating this dude for what? What are you sweating Ryan for? Oh, Ryan. Hey, Ryan, you funny, bro. <laughs> hey, bro, you funny, bro. Just because you call somebody bro don't make him your brother. You suckers. Man, I, I can't stand these dudes, bro. I'm finna go, bro. 78 Sports TV, salute. <sighs> salute to uh, the mighty LDBC. I'm about to do something, man.